Hello students, today we're going to do another Photoshop Friday. So as always, we're going to fire up AppStream and sign in. Remember when you get this, you sign in with Google. It will open up a browser for you. And for you, you will click use another account. When you get to this part, always choose Enterprise ID. Once it says you're all set, you're good to close this tab out. And you'll notice this because you're signed into multiple devices. You can only be signed into two devices at a time. So just click sign out of one of them and you're good to go. I need to upload some pictures before I use them in Photoshop. So I'm going to click up here where my home folder is. I'm going to click that, and if they're on your Google Drive, you can go ahead and open them in Photoshop, but I'm going to upload them to my home folder. Think about this thing like a flash drive we can move between our Chromebook and our virtual machine. And then I'm going to upload the files, and for this one, I want these three and uh, that one. you get your files uploaded you can open them when you get this window don't look here because we don't have any cloud documents look on your computer click this PC click your home folder and here you should be able to find your pictures this is the one I wanted to use for the background there we go this is an Alex Lex photo and if you don't know who he is he is a local guy that makes a bunch of Photoshop creations to be funny or I guess fool boomers or something but uh, as the Photoshop teacher I'm a big fan there's the zoom tool you can click to zoom in or you could right click and fit to screen right about now you're probably asking yourself why did Mr. Phelan use this background if the Photoshop Friday is about National Cheeseburger Day. Well, that's a good question. I plan on making my cheeseburger ride a jet ski in the middle of a hurricane. Friday, September 18th, Hurricane Sally will be hitting the Outer Banks. So, the cheeseburger is trying to escape the hurricane while also trying to escape a hungry Mr. Phelan who wants to eat it. I'm going to place my cheeseburger in the picture by using the place embedded feature. When you're placing a file, it puts it into the Photoshop document as a new layer. Now I have the bounding boxes and I can free transform my cheeseburger. I'm going to bring it down a little bit. This is probably still too big, but for now that's good. And I'm going to either hit the enter button or click this check mark up here to commit the transform and to place it. I want to cut this background out from around the burger. And while I could do it like we did last week with the eraser tool, I could click in here and erase it out. It might take a minute, but I'm going to try a different tool. And this one is called the quick select. The shortcut for it is a W or you can come over here and right click and use the quick select tool. So the quick select works by detecting edges and color changes. So if I just kind of paint my burger, it detects all of those edges. I could even zoom in to make this more clear. And you can see these dotted lines going around the burger. Those are referred to in Photoshop as the marching ants. It tells you what part of the picture you have selected and what part you don't have selected. If your circle is too large or too small, you can come up here and change it. Right now mine's at 30 pixels. I'm going to lower it down to 8 so I can get this little piece of cheese in there. And if you select some parts that you don't want, you can hold the Alt button and it lets you delete them out. So I'm going to leave this piece of lettuce hanging off just off the picture. It's fine. All right, so I have that selected. 
And there's a number of ways that I could get rid of the background from here, but the easiest one for you to learn today is to right click and tell it to move to a new layer via cut. This is gonna cut these pixels out of this layer and put them on a new layer. So now you can see that this, the sandwich is on two layers. If I turn off this layer, it makes just this one show through. So we can even throw away the layer that we didn't want by dragging that layer down to the trash can and letting go. There we go. You can clean this up if you want by selecting things like I can select that blue with the quick select tool and just hit the delete button on my keyboard. So that works pretty well. There's some red over here that I don't really like and clean it up as much as you want. But remember that when you're very zoomed out, it will hardly be noticeable. The next step is the jet ski. I'm gonna upload a jet ski picture that I shamelessly took off the internet. You might be saying, Mr. Phelan, isn't that against copyright? Yes. Um, anyway, we're going to place the jet ski picture into our document. Beautiful. Beautiful. And we're going to use the same method that we used to cut out the outside on this one. I'm going to skip that part so you don't have to watch it. Actually, you probably want to see this part. So if you notice, I'm trying to just cut out the jet ski, but this cheeseburger is kind of in my way. I can either turn off the visibility on the cheeseburger so you can't see it, or I can move the jet ski above the cheeseburger in the layers panel and then the cheeseburger will also not bother me. Remember that when you're selecting the alt button lets you deselect areas that you don't want. I'm going to leave a little bit of the spray in here um, but I am going to leave these arms because that would be funny for a cheeseburger to have some arms. It was at this moment Mr. Phelan realized he messed up. I had not rasterized the smart object, so I couldn't cut the pixels out into another frame. You could fix this just by using the eraser, clicking in there and hitting OK. Then you can just hit delete instead of even copying out. Try that. Now I'm going to move the cheeseburger back on top in my layers dialog box and I can move the cheeseburger around and I can move the jet ski around. If you select and hold control, you could select both and move them both at once. So I'm going to move them somewhere over here. So kind of looks like these waves align now. I'm going to repeat this process and add some more things into the photo to add some liveliness and humor to it. I want you to do the same and be as creative as possible. Remember that the winner of this will win a cheeseburger. Here's the finished product. I have the burger riding the jet ski away because I wanted to throw a shark in here. So I put a shark coming up because we all know sharks eat cheeseburgers. And uh, I used the edit transform flip horizontal so if you need to flip something horizontally that's how you find it edit transform flip horizontal i also added a uh, volcano back here blowing erupting i know there's no volcano off the outer banks but the way this year is going who knows um i added myself up here as some sort of like demigod poseidon figure coming out of the storm and i have burgers in my eyes because I want a cheeseburger. So, please try and outdo me in wackiness or creativity or humor. It shouldn't be too hard to do. And have fun with it.